about your multiplication tables in math class? How about solving algebraic equations in front of a room full of television cameras and a Hollywood actress? That's what Sarasota County Middle School students faced when actress Maya Bialik checked their work on a series of Big Bang Theory themed algebra questions. Okay, so now they want you to match. Right? Oh, yeah. Now you can shift. Wait, it's a Bialik and the students push and pull items on a touchscreen monitor. The workstation seats four students and includes a high-speed internet connection. These renovated classrooms are part of a $2.2 million Gulf Coast Community Foundation project to improve science and math instruction. The group awards grants for community projects in Sarasota, Charlotte, Manatee, and DeSoto counties. Teachers say working in small groups keeps students interested, and the touchscreen exercises break the lecture rut. Gracie Versaccio likes the new rooms because sometimes classmates can speak in a language teachers can't. It helps me learn. Instead of working separately, since they're, we're in groups of four, it's easier. Like if I don't understand it when she explains it, then maybe somebody at my table can explain it better for me to learn. It just, it's really helpful. Versaccio may be studying in the classroom of tomorrow, but school districts around the state may want to consider similar projects now. That's because a state law requires half of all classroom instruction will be delivered digitally by the fall of 2015. Brookside Middle School math teacher Brenda Fuca is excited by the possibilities of high-tech lessons. The 31-year Sarasota County veteran says the new classrooms and their fancy equipment intimidated her at first. But with training and some help from her students, she's enjoyed the adjustment. I've never wanted to get stale. I never wanted to be one of those teachers that pulled out the dusty lesson plan book and you're teaching the same thing you did every year. The training was amazing. The wonderful thing is when you've got middle schoolers, if you get stuck using a calculator, they can help you out. Fuko has also seen big results after just one year in the new classroom. All of her algebra students passed the state end of course exam. One person may get stuck and they'll say, now what do I do? And the others just coach them through that. Do not tell them the answer, but coach them. They help one another. It's a family atmosphere in here. Not competitive, but they know they're in this together and they want each one at their table to succeed. And it's, it's the results obviously have paid off. Sarasota County Schools and the Gulf Coast Community Foundation plan to upgrade an additional 92 middle school classrooms. Eventually, they hope to design similar classrooms for high schools and elementary schools. In Tampa, I'm John O'Connor. And you can hear State Impact Florida education stories every week here on W.